what happened. Uh, yes, well, that's what makes you such an interesting fellow, Mr. Irish. <laughs> ah, Mr. Marston, I've come to wish you well. How are you, sir? I'm okay. It seems that our friend Mr. Irish here is well-connected south of the border. Oh, it's true. Uh, they love me down there. It's like a second home. I've got more friends than you could shake a stick at, should you so desire. So you know the way. Oh, it's easy. We just get on me raft here and let the current sweep us away to paradise. Come on, then, Dobby. I'm not sure your idea of paradise and mine are quite the same, Irish. Relax. We'll have a great time and we'll find your man, Williamson, no bother. I hope so. Hey, come on now. Look at it this way. I know we ain't exactly old pals, but, you know, have I ever done you wrong? No. But not through lack of trying. Hey! Well, you boys have fun down there. I shall miss you, John Marston. Thank you. Where are you headed? Oh, you know me? Oh, um, London or Paris or, uh, or maybe Peking. I'm a traveling man, sir. This land is much too small for the likes of me. <laughs> well, try not to get yourself killed. Oh, well, yes. We men of science are not a very loved bunch in this land of myth and superstition. I'm off to the civilized world where men like myself are revered and given medals. Ha! Hmm. Have fun. The same to you, sir. The same to you. <laughs> Nice of you to turn up for once, Irish. What do you mean? In usual fashion, you conveniently missed all the action of Fort Mercer. What can I say? I woke up with me head in a pair of tits, and it felt ill-mannered not to get reacquainted with him. At least you got your priorities straight. You know me, Johnny boy. I'll be late to me own funeral. They say God invented whiskey to stop the Irish from ruling the world. Well, we're here now. Shite, somebody doesn't like this. Too many of them. Cut the rope. Drift down river. Bloody Nara! Guess I'm gonna do more mischief than I remember on me last visit. All right, I'll beat the sword and tinderbox once we use these sons of bitches. Hey, there's more ammunition in the box at the back of the round. Go to hell, you dumb fudgling bastards! That's the pillar. Sakes alive! Anybody else? You got your own man! Over there! I'll pick you all down!
You'll go out of it pissing your pants. This is the fourth time your so called friends have nearly got me killed. I thought you said they loved you over here. They do. At least the lassies do. Oh, the big brown eyes. Turn stone into butter, they would. And the Mexicans know how to make a bottle of liquor, too. What, that porky? <laughs> now, there's a drink as would take the frost out of a frosty morning. Oh, you're going to have some fun. I'm just here for Bill Williams. Well, I'm glad to be back. This place is a wild devil's paradise. Apart from the fellas trying to kill you. Down here, they call me El Rato, the cat, on account of me stealth and cunning. I'm pretty sure Rato means rat, my friend. I like it, though. A little more inventive than Irish. Well, you Americans never were very creative with your use of language, was you, John Marston? Shite! There's more fools behind that rock! Come on, man! Stop doing that!
Thanks, Johnny boy. I really will. I doubt you'll remember any of it, Irish. There's a beach coming up on the left. Hang on. We'll be on dry land soon. Heads up! Get to the... We made it, thank the Lord. Am I glad to be getting out of that floating death trap? <laughs> These horses look fresher! <laughs> And healthy! <laughs> Before you degrade these poor fools any further, tell me where I'm headed. Of course, of course. Let me think. You do know people down here, aside from your friends who welcomed us on the way. Yes, I think so. <laughs> I was real drunk last time I was here, John. You know how it is. I, I, I met an American guy, uh, saw him shoot a man, Drink with him in the village of Chuparosa. Funny guy. <laughs> uh, or was that Canada? No, that was Canada. Guy here, not funny, but he's real nice. Uh, failing that, uh, you could try the provincial governor, uh, Colonel something or other, some Spanish name. He's based out of Escalera. I uh, played three card stud with him. Uh, or was it four card Monty? I forget. He was a real nice chap, or maybe he was a real bastard. <laughs> I was real drunk last time, John. <laughs> well, thanks a lot for your help. Oh, let me guess. You gotta be on your way. <sighs> the famed hospitality isn't what it once was, and I've never been known to overstay me welcome. So off I go to greener pastures. Good luck, John. You're an angry and a feck ugly man, but not a bad one.
Enjoy the scenery? I guess I have. What are you doing out here? You know, I'm trying to capitalize on the stiff upward breezes in this region to launch my first ever flight. You're gonna try to use that crazy thing to fly? I'll be soaring like an eagle, or my name's not Charles Kinnear. I should be the first man swooping through this valley. Yes, I shall. I'd leap off now, only it seems like I need more adhesive to keep the wings together. I've concocted my own special formula. Since that store-bought stuff isn't strong enough. However, I can't abandon my machine to gather more materials. What kind of materials are you talking about, Charles Kinnear? I need a bunch of bird feathers. Doesn't matter what kind, along with a parcel of beaver hides to boil down, along with some red sage to make it all pliable. Okay. I think I can find all that stuff. I'll be back, Charles. Because you leaping off that cliff is something I have to watch. Oh, they doubted dear Icarus, sir. Yes, they did! I'll be having that. That's what I've been after. Welcome to Nuevo Paraiso, John. Where do I know you from? You're famous, John. You're the man who shot a bunch of banditos as soon as he turned up in this country. You're a man who decided right and wrong between a man and death, between a man and his wife. And who are you? You know, I admire you, John. I hope my boy turns out just like you. For your sake, I hope you don't. You kill people so easily, yet you respect the vows of marriage. That's very curious. 
I'll let the appropriate authorities judge my morality, friend. Yes, you will. And they shall. Anyway, I hear that an old nun is traveling from the monastery, taking the money she raised to the bank. Why don't you head up there and see if you can lend her a hand? The road's full of thieves. Either that or rob her yourself. I'll see you around, John. I hope you don't. Still. <laughs> Ah, here we are. Might as well. Thank <laughs> you. 
tough one, ain't you? Oh, Lord. This is nasty. Come on, let's get this over with. Let's make this quick. Señor. Arms for the poor. Uh, oh, sir. Could you find it in your heart to donate some money for the poor? Perhaps cast a little sunlight into their lives? Well, maybe, but ain't it the Lord's responsibility to look over his flock, not mine? Yes, but the Lord has brought you to me so you could help me. They're at their wit's end, and their faith has been cast aside. All it would take is a few dollars to get them started on the right path, so they could see there are those who care. A few dollars to completely restore someone's faith? I never knew life is so simple. There you are, sister. Yes. Life is much simpler than we make it. Gracias, señor. And God bless you. You're making me nervous. Is there... Do 
you? Con el otro, no te rompas, pendejo, la dejé en la casa. Y les digo, de aquí para acá, chingan a su madre. ¿Qué? ¿Y qué no, nos Cállese, ver? güey. Y de aquí para acá, son pendejos.
Hey, gringo! ¿Hablas español? No, sir. Pardon, pero yo hablo un solo poquito español. <laughs> poquito. ¿Habla inglés? Oh, sí, gringo. Hablo mucho inglés. Sí. Hablo filthy fucking bean eater. Hablo slippery little Mexican. Oh. Hablo little piece of shit. shit. <laughs> ¿Comprende, amigo? ¿Comprende? <laughs> hey, what are you doing here, gringo? I don't remember inviting you to my country. I don't think you did, amigo. I mean you no harm. <laughs> you mean us no harm? This is funny. <laughs> what harm could you do to us exactly? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing, amigo. Now, I appreciate the welcome committee, but I'd hate to spoil a beautiful afternoon on such beautiful land with any further unpleasantries. Now, if you'll excuse me. Uh Hold it, Gringo. I think you're forgetting something. A little taxation. <laughs> <laughs> I have a large family. Very big. <laughs> I too have a family, friend. So that we may see our families again, I suggest we part ways amicably. <laughs> can I see the boots, Gringo? I think you can see him from where you're standing just fine, senor. Take off the boots, Americano. As you wish. <laughs> oh, very good. Very good indeed, sir. What a great way to improve border relations. An illiterate farmer crossing the river, coming into their civilization and butchering the local peasants. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. Don't mention it, old man. You kill peasants, you become a peasant. I never aspired to be anything more. <laughs> a socialist, huh? No wonder you left America. Not many things. Most of them bad. But a man of political principles? No. Well, then I fear Mexico may not be for you, sir. Don't you worry about me. Oh, but I do worry. An angry man a long way from home? A man who handles a gun as sloppy as you? I can handle a gun okay, partner. Yeah, as long as you're killing quail or peasants. But if you have to face another man, you don't stand a chance. And you do? I can show you a few tricks. Come with me. Hold on. What's your name? <laughs> that doesn't matter anymore. And you? I never had a name, mister. I was raised in an orphanage. <laughs> a real American, huh? Wonderful. Just wonderful. Well, you won't make it in the circus, but you can shoot. Keep on practicing. Thank you, old man. Now, who are you? No one interesting. Who are you? <laughs> Landon Ricketts. Not a name that means much anymore. It means a little. You were famous when I was a boy. Yeah, killing men's a strange kind of fame. I was the fastest in my time. I must have been. I'm the only one left. What are you doing here? Living quietly. Waiting. For what? I don't know. And you? I'm looking for a couple of men. Bill Williamson, Javier Escuela. <sighs> Escuela's from here. It could be. This whole place is teeming with a with Americans on the run. Mercenaries, locals hell-bent on revolution. Revolution? Another one? <sighs> yeah. Never really is. This whole place has been a hotbed for revolution since before the Spanish left. Now there's another local guy running around promising the peasants their freedom. Ah, 
just like the last two or three. Local government, foul bunch. Colonel Allende, he runs this place like a feudal king. He's an awful individual. Is that so? Yeah. Until someone puts a bullet in his head. Come on, let's get back to it. You gotta keep that back straight. Otherwise, it makes the gun jump. See if this Schofield makes a difference. Now that's a real gun. Well done. Now that wasn't so hard, was it? Follow me. We're gonna try something a little more challenging. The birds around here are always raising hell. Scavenging and scaring the life out of the locals. I say we put your newfound skills to the test while doing a public service for the good people of Chuparosa. Here we'll do. I'm gonna scare up some birds. Let's see if you can take down more than one at a time. Say I'm surprised you heard of Landon Ricketts. I would have thought an old goat like me would have been long forgotten by now. I heard many a story when I was a boy. Still do sometimes. What, these days? I find that hard to believe. What do people say? Oh, you know how them conversations go. Fellers arguing over who's the toughest, who's the fastest, and who shot people in the back. I place good money on me still being the fastest. Is that so, old man? I spent my life proving people wrong. Partner. Ay, Senor Ricketts! Senor Ricketts! Senor Ricketts! Senor Ricketts! Por favor, Senor! Our bank wagon's under attack just outside of town. We need your help again. Whoa, slow down, Ramon. We'll take care of it. Thank you, Senor. Again, you are the savior of this town. Well, my friend, are you ready to take a less theoretical exam? Sure. I don't think I ever rode with no savior before. Come on, these people need me. Follow me. said I had. You talked real big for a boy who couldn't shoot straight a half hour ago. And you talk big for an old man who can't stand up straight no more. You're a long way from being a landed Ricketts partner, young, old, or otherwise. All those stories you heard as a boy were true, you know. Excuse me! <laughs> Mr. Ricketts.
sano y salvo. Nunca podré agradecer lo suficiente. Buy me a whiskey later, and we'll call things about even. I'm not here for that, miss. Scotsman and no doubt. Todo de mejor calidad. 